we could make use of whatever is inside, provided you had some digi picks and a disregard for. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Holy shit. I swear to God, I hate creepy crawly things. Thank hey there, you. everyone. How's it going? Sharms. He's here with M Digital Gaming. And here we are. Starfield is finally here. It just released two hours ago on my side of the world. And if you're watching this, it is pretty much out for everyone. And here is. It's been a while since we've done a video, honestly, covering a brand new IP. Nevertheless, this is a brand new IP from the creators of Fallout and Skyrim. I believe it's the first game, new IP they've made in the first time in the last 25 years and I'm really hyped because I'm going into this blind like many of us are because this is completely built on the creation engine and basically the same engine as Fallout but I I'm really sold on the space adventure thing and as much as I enjoyed Cyberpunk 2077 I was looking forward to this game as well so let's see how that game measures up with a totally other, different game and of course we're going to be covering Cyberpunk 2077's other DLC as well as overhaul later this year. So if you don't want to miss that out, don't forget that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Without further ado, let's get started. So notoriously, this game has not been optimized for the NVIDIA cards. So I do have a NVIDIA 3080 Ti and, and a Risen 9 5950X. So we're going to start a new game. Let's see how it goes. All the marketing has pointed towards this game being more of a, a Team Red game. But let's see, we're gonna this is gonna be our it's been a while since we've done a first impressions video. But here we are. Bethesda Game Studios presents Starfield. Now, I've never played a space adventure type game. I know there's No Man's Sky, Elite Dangerous, a bunch of games that go, are definitely coming to my mind, but I can't remember the title of. Soul date, May 7th, 2330. Argos, Extractor Mining, Outpost, Moon of Vector. Alright, so it sounds like we start out as a completely brand new guy. You are a miner, you know, a miner, the guy who mines rocks and stuff like that. Hello, who is this person? Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple Listen rule? Listen to Lynn, boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen, I can move my mice around. Mining's Not just like any other job. Go steady, go safe, go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, now work in the Stardock. Except, uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep <laughs> yeah. him around. Good pep talks. Yeah. And the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. Right, group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> One of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. <laughs> promises, promises. So far, being a totally new IP, I don't know if I should be investing in these characters. Also, I know there's character creation, so there has to be like an obligatory reason to create okay. myself, I guess. Let's see what we've got. We on time. A little longer. Provisor Lynn and Heller. Always. I gotta say, the last Bethesda game I played was Fallout 4. I do have Fallout 76. I don't think I've ever played that game. I, this takes me back. Like, Fallout 4 was one of the very first games I started covering when I had less than 100 subscribers. And now here we are, years later. The same creation engine is looking so good. Like, look at the shadows. Everything's set to high, by the way. Looking great. But I've forgotten to turn off motion blur. Alright, I've turned off motion blur. <laughs> Listen, looking great. I don't believe, I don't think this game allows for FFO changing unless you want to change the script. I think I'm going to keep this playthrough. 
play through vanilla. Benning. Oh, that's Benning. What do we say, Dusty? You make your cut, you get your cut. This is definitely a game much more enjoyed with a controller than a, and a mouse Troy, keyboard. But I'm enjoying myself. At this point, occasional glimmer, but it's weak. I'm following Rise of Lynn. Stay the course. Others have gone way ahead. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big vein we looked at? Yes, ma'am. I know a lot of people have been saying that uh, the, the facial animations, the character animations, are looking a little dated. But that's kind of given with the Bethesda game. But I don't, I don't think it looks that bad. It's not that bad. I mean, it's no Cyberpunk 2077 where it looks pretty good. Especially, have, I mean, have you guys seen the new updates he's done for Cyberpunk? Grab a cutter and mine what you can. So good. Metal All right. Ooh, I'll okay. when I you. Finally, get to. Equip a weapon. Can I shoot her in the face? Oh. Oh, okay. So it looks like she's an important character. I just shot her in the face by mistake and nothing happened. All right, let's. Okay, finally we can run. I'm not a big fan of the FOV. Then you guys know I play with 110 or 120, depending on the game. But this is feeling a little claustrophobic. Like I feel like I'm missing stuff out of the corner of my eyes. Particle effects look impeccable, I gotta say. It looks amazing. Bellissimo. Get back up here. Okay, I'm coming. Coming, uh, four men, Lynn. Come on. It's time. Revisor Lynn. You're with me. Come on. With me. Okay, I can't really she doesn't have any more dialogue. I wonder what we're doing in this mining colony so far. I don't know much about the story. I've just seen the trailers and the gameplay. And just knowing that this is like a new IP from... I mean, I keep saying that. A, a new IP from Bethesda in the last 25 years. Also, I know it's been a month since the last time I've uploaded a video. I've been on a hiatus, but we're back again. Full swing, people. Really excited. Like, I think this is the first new game we've covered... I've covered this year. But things have been tough, so I haven't been really buying games. To be honest, or covering them. Especially the state of games earlier this year. Last of Us. Uh... Star Wars Jedi Survivor. A lot of them have still yet to be fixed to be played on PC properly. So I'm waiting until those are like more stable. I know we did a full playthrough of Jedi uh, Jedi uh, Fallen Order, which is interesting. But yeah, here we are. I don't think I've ever played. Speaking of games I've never played or finished, uh, I mean, I have played Fallout 4. Fallout 4 was so lovingly made and I loved it a lot. My only peeve was the art style was very cartoonish. Getting close. So I, I, I wish they had gone with what they're doing here with with uh, Starfield, really up about this. where it's just realistic it, human beings and everything. I think. Through here. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there. We'll come get you. Okay, looks uh, like we're going through this Indiana Jones style cavern. Would you shut up? Both of you do your jobs. The client is on his way. Okay, that didn't sound ominous. Ominous at all. Uh, didn't it? Okay, hold F to turn on flashlight. Okay, finally we can turn on a flashlight. I thought it was looking a little dark here. Here we are, around the corner. These uh, caves kind of remind me of Red Faction, the very first Red Faction game. Yes, we gotta keep going. Oh, that doesn't look ominous at all. Oh, ahead. I can walk through this. What is this? Floating stuff around. Don't tell me this is like MacGuffin isn't here. You know, the. Thing that's the inciting incident. One small step. Take a small object. Oh, I can take it. Let's see, custom animation. By the way, I'm playing this. Everything is on ultra right now. Whoa. I gotta say, the art style, motion graph. That's a motion graphics person myself. Person who works in the animation and visual I'm effects. It. I'm loving the aesthetic so far. Did I die? Oh no. Hey, come on. Me. Come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical bad. damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? 
New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? Oh, don't tell me I have uh, amnesia. I guess I get to create my character. I'm gonna fast forward through this part. We got a, a lot of. We're spending too much of our, our opening hours just by by uh, going through and customizing my character. But I intend to play this game a little bit more. I mean, I did. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna just call myself Shaw Shariar by my name. Is it he him? Change your pronouns. That's just nice, you know. Not bad. I'm gonna I'm gonna name my character that. Oh no. Kind of ironic seeing a former combat medic out for the count with a head injury. Oh, that right off the bat. That's what you signed up for. To make well, comments you got about the your background. Client's on his way, then we all get paid. Do you remember anything that happened? Mm, there was this light and music. It was incredible, like a dream of revision. Everything's blank after I went into the tunnel. Uh, I'm gonna answer this the way huh. I would probably. If I well, you passed out, that. that's for sure. Everything else. Probably just your brain playing tricks. Either way, we got wrong with the right eye. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be speak of the devil. Press mouse three to switch between third first person and third person. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely be playing this game in first person. Now, like I said, this game is not optimized for NVIDIA at all. Our constellation contact is on approach. Okay. Wait, the Here Explorers them. Group? <laughs> I thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. There's a walk half button. The crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Same with that detail. I know Cyberpunk 2077 did it years earlier, but I love physical environments. Can I pick that up? Yes. Yes, I can pick things up. I mean, I know I, know I shouldn't be excited. You don't look good. You got a few more digs to go before I feel like talking to you. Okay, fine. See you later, man. Hey, you all right? Maybe don't do any heavy lifting for a while? Oh, okay, I gotta equip my helmet. Uh, how do I do that? Okay, this is interesting. Select the area, lower right axis. Kind of reminds me of the Metal Gear Solid 5. Kind of like overlay. I'm pretty sure, like, most Bethesda games are definitely a. a uh, most yeah, like they're just an amalgamation of other games to begin with. Ideas and considering development so dang long. They're bound to have overlap. And there's inventory. That's why I'm an idiot. I hope there's like a dedicated button for equipping and equipping. Like I said, I've never played a space exploration game like No Man's Sky. Closest thing to that is Outer Wild, Outer, Outer Wilds. I don't know the one that came out from the guys who made ex creators of uh, New Vegas and everything came out recently. It was suggested by one of you guys to check out that game. This is looking amazing. This is definitely the start area from the E3 trailer. From what Of the controller real quick so I can get the immersion. I like that the game offers both the controller and mouse support. They can switch on the fly. And play this like an E3 trailer. One small step. Meet with the client. Man, these guys are slow. God, I'm just gonna run up ahead. Hey yo, I got what you need. Barrett. Walk past me. Oh no, don't tell me they're gonna he's gonna spend all this time walking to this person. Alright. Is that what I found? Puzzle piece? Get along 
time. <laughs> yes, it has. That mine on Bindi, right? Kazal, hellhole, like this place. Rare mineral oh, we're cleaning back. Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? Basal animation was pretty oh. good. Like, I feel like for the main characters so far, right but for the side characters who are like NPCs, it's still a little feeling all out for it. Cool? Again, my guys with Fallout 4 is just the art, stylized art style. Kazal, I like this one a lot Barrett, more. Not cool. He passed out after the extraction, woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Is that I didn't right, say much to begin with. Went on a trip. Hello. Yeah, kind of like a trip, I guess you could say. Call it that. <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but I mean, it's not Cyberpunk 2077 there. facial features. I mean, that's that game is perfect. And I'll Love be happy it. to never see this thing or you ever again. But it's serviceable. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I lost them. Barrett. Complete. Get a weapon finally. Oh heck yeah. Some ammo. Inventory. Got a cutter. Got a pistol. pistol. Okay. And a little counterintuitive. Yeah. Guy here. Help. Again, the FOV is not much to my liking. More guy over here. Oh, how do I take out? A, how do I get a melee weapon? Got credit. Oh, they blow up. Oh, I can probably shoot the jetpack, the jump jet. Down they go. Can I pick up their weapons? Sell them. You know, pick up all the weapons. Got a cutter. Oh no, some of my guys died. Can't believe the crimson fleet hit us. Kind of sucks that. Scroll wheel is the button you use to like change views, but there's no hot swapping yet. I haven't learned that yet. Every time. Now that was some fine work on the pressure. You took cut off the lid. Right? <laughs> that means you yeah, saw me. it. The visions. You're coming with me to Vision. constellation. You're part of this now. Oh great! You can tell me what the artifact of yours is. I mean, you can take me off. Damn moon, sign me up. Oh wait, I didn't ask for any of this. Uh, what is the constellation anyway? You ever stare like, up I need to get some exposition. Night wandering what's out there. Well, that's us. I love the music also. That's where we go. I just I just love the music so much. You can tell me. You know what? We'll be underway. No, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I all my friends and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, I, I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine, it's a deal. Right off with the Dusty. chosen one plot line. You're on to bigger things. All right, Mama Lynn. I mean. Supervising Lynn. Thanks for everything. No way. Not my job. What about now the mine? Do you need me? me? Oh. We've got to pack up and move on. 
Argos will come for the rest of us. You get going. Just go. Before I say something I regret. Well, now that that's settled. Vasco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again. Very well. Again. Oh, and hey, again. take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Oh, just a nice little watch. Is that the pre-order watch? I guess so. <laughs> hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, hey, question. He's getting me everything. His ship, his watch. Why send me? Shouldn't you go? You're giving me your ship? Oh, that's literally what I'm going to say. it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Oh, okay. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an Rest exception, me. since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. That what exactly did we credit dig up? And Constellation can find the answer. With your help. Alright. I guess the Constellation's going to help us any way we can, but... Who are they? See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. Oh, so they're like cartographers, basically. Come on. Why send me? You're really not at all curious about that light and music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, oh, that's a good point. Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take, and you're part of it now. Well, that's Crimson Fleet after you, though. Like pirates do, and I have something of a reputation ah, as a um, loot collector. Yeah, that makes sense. I think I've exhausted every dialogue screen. Break my ship. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for the ship, man. So this is the ship. I remember Adam Savage was building this on his tested channel. He was making a miniature of this. I wanted to get back into 3D printing. So maybe if you guys see anything on this on this game or anything like that, any props or guns and weapons, I think that'd be pretty cool to build on my personal channel, my other channel. Go check out the ship. Time to get them flying in. Captain, I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I will attempt to boost the shields just in case there are any difficulties. Can I see them out to the front? No, they've already moved. Alright, let's get the pilot seat. There we go. Ooh, nice little animation plane. Notice that the performance isn't that great. But, it's all right. So far, we're in the 100s, I think we maintaining a 100 frame. Even everything running on high. RTX 3080, definitely working hard here. Hopefully, they add more support for NVIDIA cards in the future. All to Starfield. All right, looks like I got my first achievement. So it is definitely mouse based. I've never been good at flying, to now be honest. We are in orbit. It might be wise to test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. I can step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. Hold left alt and WASD between systems and allocated power. Skip. Okay. So A and D is my yaw. Left use. Pretty much my mouse is just wherever you look. Allocating power is under your direct control. Let's go over the engines. Engines control our maximum speed. Floating off. Increasing and decreasing our relative velocity. All I got. A ship's engine has a sweet spot for better handling during turns. 
Draw your attention to the HUD. You'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with a gauge that goes up and down as you adjust the throttle. Try to center the gauge so that it lines up with the center of the vertical bars to its right. Right. I am really lost. You've proven an adequate pilot. Are you familiar with ship combat tactics? Because that's a crimson. Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. No, 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 no. Okay, this is definitely where the third person flying would probably be. Disable their shields. Laser based weaponry is particularly effective. I got this. I got this, guys. Another one with low health, man. There they go. Congratulations on surviving your first Starship assault, Captain. Whoa, 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 whoa. Search the wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. You will need to fly close to it before we can access the remains. Bump right into that. Take all that. Isometric, some whatever, whatnot. Just bump into things. The, the yaw could be like, like the... two more Crimson Fleet ships are jumping into our location, oh, no. Captain. Two more. Up. What I noticed, there was not really a difficult spike. Not. There you go. All right, we got. Put all of my my time into my shields. No idea myself. I'm trying to find this guy. Where'd he go? Okay, there he is. Yeah, this seems very approachable. One reason I never played Elite Dangerous or uh, I can't remember what the other one was. Dust Eve Online or something. Because I was never good at space combat. I mean, I have like that Star Wars simulators and everything like that. I never could get into it though. Fleet hostility has been far more than anticipated. At this rate, the odds That's of go. continual assault from their ships are high enough to jeopardize our mission. In short, they are after the frontier and will not stop. We will need to deal with the local Crimson Fleet captain. A recent scan indicates an abandoned facility on the nearby moon of Crete, a perfect staging area for pirates. So we can go to the Crimson Fleet Ghost, and then uh, our, our main objective is to get to the Constellation Dune. Let's see. Open up the Starship menu. Uh, wow. So if I'm correct, it's like just generated, procedurally generated. Wow, look at that. Got the sun, the solar system. This UI is a little confusing for me right now. I'm an idiot right now. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's the Crete. Ship. Vectora. Vectora. Crete. All these other ships that I'm not going to be at. Scan uh, unavailed. I don't have to go there, though. They're the ones who attacked me, right? Robot man. Go 
there. Put the Crimson Fleet. Thank you. All this in the first 30 minutes. I, I, I feel like I keep going a little bit longer. In real time, it's 30 minutes because I spent so much time like editing myself. Oh, 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 oh. Nope, nope, I'm missing, I'm missing my whatever I wanted. Yeah, this is definitely like a uh, lot to be less desired. The controls a little. I went too fast there. There we go. This is the right. Controls are definitely interesting, very interesting to use. Argos extractors, beginning area. Barrett wants me to take artifacts to his colleagues in, in Constellation. I don't have to do that. Okay. Plays a little animation. Probably the closest thing to like Star Wars. Uh, I mean, later this year we're supposed to get that Star Wars open world Star Wars uh, game. We have Looking forward to that. Orbit. The abandoned facility with our Crimson Fleet captain is on the surface. While in space. Oh, that's cool. Neat. Not a bad looking ship. The home ship. Doing all right. We've got skills. Skittles. Oh man, look at all these skills. Five trees to choose from. Okay, we're just not gonna ignore that. Try to keep things a little more action packed. I know we slowed down there for a little bit. Here we are. Got all my systems to. Uh, Going to the ship. The planet view of the star map gives you information. Blah 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 blah. blah. Rotate the planet until create resource lab icon is in view. Oh, okay. I mean, right there. There it is. The That's a little counterintuitive. I thought I could fly to the planet and then fly through the atmosphere to get to it. But I guess it's to save time. I guess I don't. Know. I don't know if you can do that though. Here you go. There's that animation. It brings to Jupiter, I guess, in the background. I gotta say, there's other ships flying up in front of me. Yeah, this reminds me a lot of Outer Wilds and a little bit of No Man's Sky here and there. But yet, it's unique enough to feel good, you know? Got black tip, Barrett, personal space. You know the drill, Vasco. Protocol Indigo means no deviations, no distractions, no dalliances, in short, no fun. Unless, as strictly defined by Sarah, Said deviations, distractions, and dalliances are completely necessary in getting this fine vessel, the Discovery Class Starship Frontier, back home in one piece. I guess I'm still technically borrowing it from Constellation, even if I have no intention of actually giving it back. Alright, so we got some context there, classic audio log. There goes our first crash of the game. <laughs> oh dear. Wouldn't be a Bethesda game without without crashing, right? <laughs> Alright, literally the game crashed, and like I said earlier, it wouldn't be a Bethesda game if the game didn't crash, especially a game that came out day one. 
Uh, but I'm gonna try and see who that Sarah person was that Barrett mentioned in his tapes. All right, here we are. According to the scanners, the abandoned research facility is in this direction. What is this? Not hostile, are they? Oh yeah, there's no bats in this game. I just realized. I mean, the game is so much more fun without Captain, it. Protocol Indigo dictates that I am to return to the lodge with no deviations. We are here to stop the Crimson Fleet from pursuit. Nothing more. Okay, I okay. have often okay. asked Barrett that same question at various times. Let's walk and talk at the same time, you know? Individuals that wanted like, to uh... cause us harm. The most likely answer so just is having to stop completely. I think that'd be pretty cool. I, Cyberpunk does that pretty well, where you can walk and talk at the same time. Usually you get after a, escaping a from certain death and often with an object. Even the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, as much as I dislike the campaign. I mean, the campaign wasn't that bad. The first opening hours just nose dive after halfway through. Uh, but okay, I do still are down. You know what? Again, we're gonna just uh, things action packed. I don't know how to holster things yet. Dip shortcut. That's gonna take some a while for me to get to know these controls. Thank you. Be careful, Captain. Alien creatures are often unpredictable. Okay, so is this bats? The equivalent of bats, or it's just the it's just a scanner. Let's see. Scan creatures and mineral plants. Each unique item scan rest your survey data of the planet okay so we have a i guess no man's sky has this you know scan stuff you get to learn more about the planet that you're on street stalker that's photo mode Already. Oh no, 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 it wasn't. Oh, I have enough ammo. Don't want to use my ammo. There we go. Again, the FOV. I feel like something's always being missed in the corner of my eye. What is that thing I've had? I've had my flashlight on this whole time. Oh well. I need it. I should have changed my controls. That's true. Whenever it's like Far Cry where you can use your can camera. Minerals. Oh. Okay. Oh, I forget that we're in space so we can like jump super high now. Oh, not me going off and mining things instead. Put that away. The Crimson Dawn. Not the Crimson Dawn. I mean the Crimson whatever pirates. I'm gonna mine some lead real quick. Close that. Okay. Probably not ominous. That closed. Over here. Never Take everything. I come across. That's the game. Turn on the flashlight. You know, I have this theory that every single space thing that came after Alien is just inspired by Alien. This changed my mind. This kind of looks like a corridor you see in an alien, an alien movie. Airlock and everything. So what do you guys think? Those who are still watching. Curious. These are United Colonies markings, but we are in Free Star Collective space. It then stands to reason that this was once a secret UC facility. Okay. 
just med packed in the middle of the game. EO2 is okay. Oh no. Better snack crackers. I'm gonna just take that. Maybe his notebook has something. Bigger inventory. Oh, I saw it. I would have like some exposition why the guy was dead on the ground. Your part. Whatever they're sneaking in this game. Why would you want to sneak when you can sneak? Won't you try that on me? Huh? Some like an on screen guy. Use a med pack by pressing O. Why is it O? Why would it be all the way on the other side of the menu? You try opening it. Yeah, of course, I is in the Right in the head. Long. About to explode. Oh, she got stuck in the roof. Oh my gosh. Sucks to be you. Alright, let me use my health real quick. Zero is health. That's gonna be you. Take your credits and your rescue ass. Archer, boost the ballistas. Mail storm. Didn't mean to do that. Let's check my inventory. Weapons. We got. We got an axe. Actually, set it to our favorite. Huh. Okay, there we go. That's what we can use. I'm gonna put that in my secondary. Okay, that's, now I'm now I'm now it's coming back to me. It's been years since I've played uh, Fallout, so I'm gonna add some stuff. Hopefully, this is what it is. I'm just so used to switching between my inventory using the scroll wheel or like the number keys on, on the top of my keyboard. That's on me. Space SMG. Who has a laser sight on it? She was in the toilet, I guess. Antibiotics. Like that. Ominous, eerie set pieces going on. With the stuff. There are more. Definitely very immersive. I'm gonna walk into these guys in the right here. Dispatched. He's trying to crawl away. Where are you going? There is no cause for alarm in the vicinity. I don't want his helmet. No longer alone. You said it right, Vasco. There you are. Thought you can hide. Thought you can hide in the dark. Take what you have. Mr. Gr Grendel. See you. Oh, he blew up. Gunplay is really solid, I'll give him that. Really enjoying it so far. Gunplay. It's definitely far better than... I mean... Fallout 4 was serviceable. You consume O2 when sprinting and mailing attacks. Okay, so I guess O2... I guess air. 
them running and stuff. Got someone trying to jump our school. Hold them off here. Our broken set up on the roof. I'm on it. No one's getting through. Sound really close. <laughs> Everything sounds like it's. I guess this place is made of cardboard because they sound really, really close. Listen here. Grandel, Grenadel, Grenadel. I don't know. Oh, there's two of them down there. Whoa, that was close. They're like crosshair. I like how it disappears. Got him for that. Go. For sure, I used that one liner already. Oh, he's Vasco. You scared me, man. All right, robot. He's more than a robot than man. Credits. Ooh, maelstrom. Okay, I gotta check out what's gonna bother me. What is the Grenadel? Grenadel. Oh, okay. These things. I guess I got six of those now. I'm gonna add it to my favorites. The amount of ammo in the maelstrom. Like a space. Another space MG. The other one reminded me of the UMP-45 or something. Heal up while we're at it. Heal this. Heal 200 damage. Don't tell me they killed this guy. Did you pick? You're gonna need that. Uh, of course, the obligatory Skyrim keep it locked to picking minigame. Uh, I'm supposed to find like internal. I couldn't figure out how to do that. I'll probably have to look at the tutorial. Didn't really explain it that well. Safe nearby. We could make use of whatever is inside, provided you had some digi picks and a disregard for. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Holy shit! I swear to God, I hate creepy crawly things. Thank you, Vasco. Thank you so much, buddy. I, I don't know what that thing was. I feel the attack. This okay. I'm getting flashbacks to freaking Metro when I freaking got scared. I did not expect whatever that was to come out of him. Well, 716 uh, credits isn't that bad. It's neat. Did you fix? Did you fix? Did you fix? Did you fix? Um. Dr. Wynn Emergency Slate. Okay, it didn't crash this time. Thank goodness. Got three digi picks. Totally realized that it wasn't recording, but unlocked that case back there. Gave you 480 credit. I think I learned how to use the digi key. But what kind of game would it, would it be if I didn't, you know, mess up the recording? But hey, we're, we're getting barely into the swing of things. There we go. He has a digi pick. Alright. Let me demonstrate what I learned earlier. So you have to fill in the gap. It's its own version. It's not like Skyrim where you're just picking the lock. This is just digital with picking the lock with the mark. Uh, it does allow me to do an auto spot. Chance if you look in the right hand corner. Bottom right hand corner. Uh, it looks like you so have four spots. Oh, I was completely wrong. Was I? No, I was completely wrong. Wasted some time for an accident. Around for more digi fix, I guess. Top two. 
far. Already got rid of these guys. Oh yeah, I forgot I closed the door on him. Is that my only way out? I hope not. All the planetary system stuff going on. Alright, found the digi fix. Go back and try that again. Five holes to fill on the outer ring. Terminals are like Fallout 3. War. War. War never changes. We're at war. You guys know that was a Fallout reference. Insane. Doctors. Oh, it wouldn't be a Bethesda game if, if he wasn't flipping through the ground. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Get up. Fine, you're 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 okay. You caught on fire only temporarily. Getting stuck in the part. Smothering me. Here. I need a lot of meds. Ooh, a 
what this game is. Oh, heck yeah. Okay, what? Equip you. Somewhere. Equinox. The laser rifle. There seems to be a lot of spots. I like that. So two weapon, four weapon limit. But I can't slide on the ground. I guess like, uh, maybe it's just a perk. Objective is anymore. I've lost, lost track. Oh, that's a perk. While I am programmed for combat, it is not my primary function. I'm digging the UI. The crosshair is a little bit bigger than I expected it to be. Maybe I can change the size of that. Really, really lost. the game and wants me to go there here hey that creep racer You guys saw that, right? Briefly, my hands came up to my face. Maybe I haven't figured out the controls yet. Oh, found another one. Landmine. Oh, okay. I did not even see that. Thank goodness I flew away. Thank you for the gravity of the planet. Maybe jump away. Oh, 
scouting the outside. Oh no, this is down. I think I whacked him out of the way. Not finding this out. I really like this pistol, it's pretty hard. Oh, that robot's back. Let me, let me go. Guys, please. Oh, guys, please. Oh. One shot. That's the one I need him. Level six also. The older one is one is helmet. Good on health. Goodness, there's no fall damage in this game. Probably way over in my head. Battle right here. Way over in my head. Wait, oh, the words are working in my mouth. Five Found me. The robot's back, guys. Heal. Oh no. Oh, it can get to me. It can get to me. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Don't. What happened? I wish I had a boost attack. Jetpack. I'm gonna die here. Check my inventory mid fight. What is this? Okay. Place that. that.
hacking with, with pirates everywhere. Who are you? you? Got a shotgun. Come on, don't kill me. Back here in the corner. Alright. Got rid of the robot at least. Now it's the rest of everyone. Trying not use the, all the precious fucking ammo I have. The uh, loot is colored also in this game, so that's kind of making things weird for me. I don't know. I'm not used to seeing colored loot. That's the game. I mean, I've never played Fallout. That, oh, shit. Yes, yogurt. Fallout 76. So I don't know if it has colored loot or not. Where are you guys at? Heal up. Here. Oh, no. I am out of healing items. Careful. Completely exhausted all my healing items, it looks like. Unless. I feel like I saw something. Damn it, I needed that bounty. Needed that what? Real quick, coachman. Mining. Ooh, got the heart. So, I wonder if we can like just like trick them into thinking that. Oh, hey guys, I'm. I'm totally one of you guys. Also, the heart helmet looks pretty sick. What's the difference between my technician's helmet? I guess it's rare. Your suit is protecting the environment. Doing not so hot on health, guys. Let's see what else I do. That bandages. Got it, you guys. Heart improves fortitude and pain tolerance. Two hundred health. Keeps faster. That person out. I want to run a C2 by running. Feel their credits over here. That was pretty action packed. I know there's like a level 6 pirate somewhere around here. Still doing this. See you, I'm coming at you. Oh no, 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 no. I really wish I'd fast go around here. Oh, heck yeah. Get out of here. One more out there, though. Assembler males for Modified males for Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Yes, yes. You pick this. We need, do need some aid, though.
somewhere else back. That doesn't sound good. Research products require fewer resources for them. Guys, I'm gonna die. Maybe I'll use my my one skill point. Just use one skill point again every time. Medical. Increasing maximum health by 10%. Stealth. Oh, there is stealth in this game. I'll put it to that. Because I am. Didn't know what hit him. Aid though. Right. 
really digging this this variant of the male storm. the green lights start interacting. Running well. I need another one. Just back tapping carefully your gang speed too. We're getting CO2 and full damage. Grendels. That's not me. Put that freak down my silver You don't need to wear enemy supplies. Secondary. Yeah, we've been here already. You guys took care of everything I need. It's a nice weapon.
now we're not over encumbered. Alright, we walked all the way back to the lab. Maybe I could have just fast traveled here. Uh, I don't know where my companion Vasco is. Robot guy. Also, I'm going way over third, my third, first 30 minutes rule. And we're barely in the, in the opening levels of this game. Insane. So everything should be consistent. Pretty much. Can be any enemies in here? Generally, I don't know where my, my robot came from. Where did he go? According to the map, this has only been 50% explored. I feel like I've already gotten what I needed here. That's pretty cool, like dead bodies and stuff like that will remain where they remain. They won't despawn. It adds the realism of the game one thing for sure. Something new I didn't notice the back. Oh that's area. Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? Finally, I'm getting it. I want the Constitution when you stop the second. Lie, that's right, I killed Barrett. Tell your parents it's hard to attack and never stop. Place is still. That's the problem with Barrett anyway. We don't have oh, a God. problem with Barrett. We want that ship, the Frontier. 
If you're the captain of it now, that means we're after you. Okay, got my answer. Maybe we can... Oh, <laughs> no. You see, maybe your colleague Barrett didn't tell you, but there's a bit of a legend surrounding that ship. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays, the loot from a hundred planets, and it's going to be ours. That statement is oh, partially get... correct. Oh, the there you go, Vasco. Where have you been? been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. Uh, there's no treasure in my ship. I could lost it before people get hurt. It's time to make settle, settle systems in a different place. Exactly. I don't suppose we can disagree or disagree. You're not talking. I'm so glad that didn't go score. the full voice route. Say the person wants to make a sense of the word. The choice is strange when kind words distract and distract. You suppose you have a good reason for that. Okay, so there's more depth to distraction. I, I like this over the freaking full voice approach where you, like the guy was passive aggressive or really aggressive. Then the choice is just like full straightforward. Like you have it wrong, possibly for the art treasure hunter. Want to trade the ship? That sounds good to me. The crunch is freaking when it turns anyway. I mean, if you want to embarrass yourself, go right ahead. I just, I made it past your entire career. You really want to try luck against me? Oh. Uh, they aren't. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure, brother. Trust me. The ship doesn't have anything on it. I'm facing a very different day. If you want to trade the ship, come to me. Go on. No, that. That can't be right. Okay, you can come aboard the frontier right now. See yourself. Just take a moment to count the time. I've already lost. Okay, you can come to the I like how the one of them is just. I'm not falling for that. Oh. That's got ambush written all over it. Oh, dang, I've I didn't enough out of you. Kill them! Sorry, bro. You're gonna have to die. I want his helmet, though. Wait, that's something for me. Immediately blew him up. Oh. If I knew how to throw a grenade at least. In combat, there is a high likelihood of human death. Alright, Brogan. I could harm you. Is that our crimson? Oh, there's two more fire stuff. Here. There they go. Looks like the not hit scan like the other game. Definitely projectile based. Bullets. Grenade. None of them are equipped. Seven fragments. Of now I know. I can Lead, buddy.
area. Across their system. Look for the map icon. Oh, that's cool. You can fast travel just by looking at icons. We weren't so far away from our ship. I think we're going to end up wrapping it up soon, though. Now that we've got past the first hour of the game. Somehow we stumble across the whole entire two outposts. I, I always end up doing this, you know. I always end up getting lost in these type of games, which is probably why I never end up finishing them. Like, I'm still on my first playthrough of Skyrim 2000, whatever. 2012. You know, the game came out in 2000. I don't know. Oh, there's a fire behind us. That's because you left. You missed some guy over here. Used to the wall? Oh, put him out of his measure of misery. I guess he got clipped to the wall. He's stuck in that coral buildup right there. Credits and your mail. I can't fast travel while I'm over encumbered. Vasco's, where'd you go? Let's trade. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you are. To reach the Alpha Centauris, there is room in my storage hold for further items. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, he has a laser. get over how good the music sounds so. Wonderful. Like a black leather deck. Oh, no <laughs> goofy looking costume. if I should just end the video here there's so much we still haven't uncovered and we're still in the opening phases of the video um check out the map real quick okay we've already got three creeks or everything we could explore on all explorable i know they said you can explore so much it's so vast i don't know why i'm getting choked up just wow. all right let's just get to jameson then we're wrapping up guys or speed or call it grab jump I guess in this game. Oh wow. It's 2 a.m. here. 
already, you know. So I really don't want to put down this game, but I'm having so much fun. Starship Frontier, this is United that Colony guys. Security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Okay, maintaining course. No contraband. Scan complete. I have a lot no of guns. Contraband detected. Let's go. We're cleared for landing at New Atlantis. New Atlantis. like an Apex Legends looking city. Titanfall. I think I'm gonna start wrapping up here. So it's been a while. I'm gonna have to edit all this down and everything. So much good stuff. stuff. There's breathable here, right? Amazing. I mean, it's no Cyberpunk 2077. And here's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the Trade Authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. You were able to land it, so I'm sure whatever's broken can be fixed. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need. Forget you can actually modify your ship. I think I'm gonna leave it off here, guys. Um, great, it's been a fun game. Um, I'm really digging it so far. Like. If you guys want to see me play more of it let me know like definitely um uh, down more of it i don't know i, I, I had been a while since i've been lost and i'm in awe of like how good this is for a bethesda game so far. yeah there was some some glitches here and there that we had but i'm having i'm having a great time we've got our ship we've got this mighty dandy but if you Watch to this point. Don't forget to subscribe button. Sorry, the notification bell. We're so close to hitting 700 subscribers, and we're back to uploading videos again. Uh, I know I've got busy, but nevertheless, Star Mr. Feast signing off. See you guys in the next one.